Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy. You know who I am. And I need you to go to our website, tpsgpodcast.com. Check out the gear. We got stuff from cell phone cases all the way to hats. Go get yourself fresh. Holla. We are. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Welcome Daddy. back. Welcome back. What's, What's good, y'all boys? They uh, are upon chilling. the gully side. Upon the and gully side. Upon the Gaza side. <laughs> Badman, they are upon the gully side. <laughs> yes, <laughs> as uh, I see Black put it so eloquently, it's your boys, the physics study group. Hashtag TPSG. TPSG. Welcome back to another episode of your mama's favorite podcast. Oh yeah. Are y'all holding up? Holding it down. Man, we making do, man. Try not to go too crazy. True. For real, bro, bro. But as you see, man's done got dreads because the barbershops ain't open. Man. <laughs> y'all got dreads and I got a fucked up hairline. <laughs> That's because you did your own haircut, buddy. <laughs> I, I told you that in confidence, man. Sheesh. Gosh. Oh, my bad, anyway, dog. I th- man, anyway, not, before the not, starts to fly more. Yeah. Now, now, now that I'm paying attention, yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, don't join. Don't join in on them. Anyway, <laughs> it's your boy, Jordan Manic, a.k.a. Wade Chantel, a.k.a. Wade McGrady, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex, a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. Hairline might give you vertigo. <laughs> AKA, Damn. you owe me the fade. You know how much one of my AKAs, you owe me the fade. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I owe oh, many a nigga the fade. This is Flocka Zulu, AKA Nigga Demons, AKA the third <laughs> Black Stallion, the third, AKA Pablo Escovich, AKA Wait Nimde, AKA No More, AKA Stop the Violence. Ironically, <laughs> <laughs> you know it's your boy I seen black aka black dynamite aka Wayne Bigsby aka Samurai Black aka uh-huh. Holy Paca Roaches oh, aka Boy. Shabby Ranks looking well and shabby today. Well and AKA shabby. Swiss Army Nigga Swiss Army Nigga Swiss Army Nigga <laughs> Burn that Palo Santo. Oh, remix. I just, <laughs> I just did it. Counts all off. <laughs> it's your boy, David Beaumont, a.k.a. Chico Fantastico, that fantastic Chico, a.k.a. Sirocco Obama, a.k.a. a.k.a. Go ahead. <laughs> Fantasy Bless. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, oh yes. Man. Now, fellas, you know, unless you've been oh, living man, under a rock. Fantastic or Chico. Sorry. <laughs> unless you've been living under a rock and you're deaf or blind, we are literally, I like, th- this is something unique to our generation. I don't think any other generation could say that they were rioting and protesting during a pandemic. <laughs> At the beginning of hurricane season. Oh, yeah. Imagine Another. telling our kids about this shit, bro. The pan, the pan, yeah. it, 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 it's yeah. like a footnote now. Because it's Honestly. like, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. halftime, bro. It's Word. halftime. That's all that, that is. Yeah. Like, we, we protesting and we out there like, oh, shit, Corona. <laughs> or like, oh, right, they're, they're, my they're, bad. They, they're tear gassing people. I'm like, that ain't helping the Rona. That ain't helping all. nobody. Mm-hmm. That that, I think that's actually one of the uh, things you should stay away from, according to the doctors. Uh, no tear gas. <laughs> right? Yeah. Tear <laughs> gas. You know, just not thought. advised. <laughs> just, just avoid anything <laughs> to the eyes. Exactly. Besides water. Room full of tear um, gas, don't walk in there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, quick. Uh, <laughs> I know it seems Make like sure fun. you don't, don't <laughs> eat before 8 p.m. How about tear, da- tear gas, Doc? Am I okay with that? Oh you know, th- just a little bit, just a little bit. But um, you know, all, all this is all this is going on because you know, another one of our brothers were killed by another racist, crack ass police officer. Um, first and foremost, R. P. George Floyd and R. P. Breonna Taylor, R. P. Ahmaud Aubrey, 
And you yeah. know, it's 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 a shame that I forget names because there's so many of them. But mm. you know, can we talk R. about R. that? No, no, of course, of course. But can, like, we, R. can we talk Sedan, about how you know, like there's plenty of black women that have been killed by officers, and we don't see this kind of outrage when they get killed. Because I mean, everyone sees Breonna Taylor's face now ever since they started sharing photos but like mm -hmm. can you really say you know what happened and i'm be real i'm one of them i don't really know well what from 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 what i know they literally killed her while she was in her sleep they 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 busted to her they, they burst into her house unannounced because they were looking for someone else that they already had in custody already in police so custody they already had this person they were looking for in police custody <clears throat> excuse me and they ran up in beyond the Taylor house and shot it up it killed her in her sleep. She was sleeping, like, she was lying down next to her boyfriend. And they killed her in her sleep. Like, anytime I hear that... That I sounds like, weird. No, exactly. Sounds I need to hear weird. the details around this. There's a little it girl that killed like her. I really feel like, I really feel like she knew something. Because, you know, crooked cops, when it comes to good cops, that's about to out them. They stop at nothing to silence them. If, she, if I'm not mistaken, she was some type of law enforcement. Um, she was probably a PO or a CO, maybe a cop, but it sounds real fishy, like it sounds real fishy. It's something under that though. But regardless, RP to that young lady. She didn't deserve that, man. It's just fucking sick, man. Yeah, I, that, that little girl died like that too. They they they're running into the wrong crib. They threw yeah. in, they threw in like um like a tear gas canister or something like that. It ended up burning her, and then they get went in and, and shot her in the head. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, imagine shit. it felt like you just you just described the movie to me, bro. That's that's crazy, right? No. That shit's like, like, personally, I've never watched the entire George Floyd video. I mistakenly Me watched the ending of it when they put him on the gurney, when they put him on the stretcher, which was like a nightmare. Like, I don't want to watch that shit again. Like, it's not good for anyone's psyche to continue to watch that, to continue to see that, whether it be that but, or the Ahmaud Arbery thing. However, it being recorded is necessary. Like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? But it's not good for you to keep watching that over and over. Right. Nah, you're right. I actually didn't watch that video. And what's actually bringing me to watch, want to watch the video now is actually exactly what you just mentioned. That did they actually attempt to resuscitate, revive? Did they apply any, you know, they didn't. medical they didn't. So This... This seems odd because I also saw some other posts and I don't know if we want to take it there, but I saw some other weird posts that are showing, you know, the actual video itself, screenshots of the video, clips taken from different news sources, mm -hmm. and there's different buildings in the background or there's no people in the back, in, you know, but where the, that uh, there's no person from the angle that the main video, there's excuse me, <laughs> the angle that you see where he got suffocated mm -hmm. in the other video that they're showing, there's no person there recording it with their phone. Uh, yeah. There's nobody there, the actually. There's a speedway behind, you know, the, um, the officer that had his um, knees on his neck, but in one video, but then in another state, on another news station, there's no speedway behind it, but it's the same exact angle. Yeah, Speedway as in the gas station. Like, there's a lot of weird things happening. I mean, I already think as medical professionals, ENTs, like, your whole squad are just fucking duds that none of y'all, you know, performed any um, attempt to revive. Like, he, he that, was, all of this is weird to me. He, he was he was dead by, by the time they got there. They still, yeah. but I, I, but on the scene, like, was, like depending like, on how when, long it is, when, when, when they walked up, his, his, his knee was still on his neck when they got there. Yeah, like he, he his, his knee was on his neck for like over seven minutes, like it, with a oh, over nine minutes, over nine minutes, minutes eight minutes, yeah, eight but, minutes of 40, 45 seconds, but, according to but isn't that the point to trying to revive if they get there and his knees on his neck? Like I'm just saying that's weird. I'm not saying any no, 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 or the other. I'm just saying, Bro, like, I, what's up with that? Let's look at no, it. No, I would, you're I, right. I, would, I would watch it before I would, I, I, I put my tinfoil hat on. No, no, no. I so did you, watch. No, no. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking about um, as a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you, you, you see, like, you, you come from it with a more 
complete understanding like when you see mm -hmm. then the the other side to it is that that's a part of the trauma too the fact that people need video evidence to mm -hmm. believe that this is going on where so much people already know what's going on and then right. the trauma of having to watch it imagine being a family of you know what i'm saying and having to watch how you how your loved one die over and, over. and they they play over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it takes to get justice. You know what I mean? Like yeah. And, and then you think about like all the people who like whose case didn't ca get caught on tape, and they have to go through the frustration of not ha not having no no to write, no justice, no. So it's like a it's a double edged sword, really. You know what I mean? It's like why? Oh. Well, no. Why why does the violence have to be broadcast for? Because even even when um things happen and there's no video, it's obvious when things don't add up. If mm -hmm. there was if there was no a reason for an arrest, and then all of a sudden somebody's in jail for arresting uh, resisting arrest, that doesn't add up. You know what I mean? So it like. Doesn't. It doesn't. So like the fact that people have the power to do that, like you, you see interactions with cops, and cop, all that cop has to do is is get annoyed with somebody, and then they're threatening them with jail. I'm like, well, how do you have the power to throw somebody in jail that didn't commit a crime just because you had a, a bad interaction with them? You know what I mean? It's because. That, but 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 what they got but wait, wait wait wait. Yeah, the fact. I that, think I think we got lost off the point because you were telling me don't put on the tin for a hat. But I'm trying to understand, like, from a perspective of someone who does see fishiness in a situation. Granted, you're correct. I didn't see the video. But, like, what I'm trying to understand is, like, how can you, like, what, what would you say to someone who does see, you know, some, you know, odd, some fishiness in the details of what happened? Like, what no. would you say to the medical no. examiner no. not not trying to resuscitate if that's what they're trained to do well, when they get I'm on site to, to some no, no, the whole thing is the whole that's thing, what i'm asking the whole thing is fish the whole thing is murder though and all and in that culture everybody looks out for each other you know what i mean first yeah. and foremost you know what i mean and that and when we talk so you're saying it, like the ents like the yeah, cops we, would look out yeah, for the even, ents is that you, what you're saying even no, because remember because so, remember because remember the disparities in the healthcare system too Wait, what are you what, what are you saying there? Um, well, at a point in the video, like you see one of the cops before before you see any of the EMT, you see one of the cops like turn around and say something, and he like he goes up to the EMT and he says something to them. I think they already knew he was dead. They were just yeah. waiting for the EMTs to throw him in the truck and get him the hell out of there. At that point, like, yeah. like nine minutes in, like they knew he was dead. They knew there was on camera. They just go get him in the van and get the fuck out of there. Like that's what it was down to. So yeah. they probably yo, 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 he's already dead. We're just gonna get him the hell out of here and boom, that's what happened. Like that's that's no, what that, I think. Well but, no, no, you're right. I mean that you're, but you're but right. to me that right. that's exactly what happened because if you watch the end of the video when the EMTs came, first of all, the EMTs came, they they were dressed like cops. They had bulletproof vests and they were dressed in brown and they had weapons. But apparently that's how Minis uh, Minneapolis EMT look EMTs look, apparently. But I saw the end of the video when the EMTs came, they rolled up right next to him and they just picked up George's body and he was dead. He looked like a puppet. You ever seen a puppet that's not even limp, bro? Oh my goodness. Him up, he was limp and they and they dropped him on the on the on the um on the stretcher and they rolled him and they knew he was dead. And I guarantee you, before the EMTs came, the officer was like, Look, he's dead, there's no point of resuscitation. Because any any scene like that, any situation like that, the first thing that EMTs do is try to resuscitate them. Whether they got shot, they got stabbed, they got choked or beat up, the but first that, thing they do is to see if they can resuscitate them. And they didn't even try that. If you, But that's my point. Going, like, if it's, but that's my point though. Like, even if they were trying to get them out of there right away, then that would mean that you would at least try to make it look real so that there's something less to talk about. These, most of these people are idiots. No, no, you're right. So what you're I'm trying right. to say is, like, show show me. Like, show me something that makes me believe something else. That's what, what, I'm, wait, that's no, what I'm trying you. to say. Believe what? what? Uh, wait, watching, believe after watching that same video, there was, no, also, uh, uh, as from, a there was also a video, the same one from behind them, where, like uh -huh. you said, from the, the most famous angle, 
They shot it from behind him, and there was nobody there. I'm watching this, and I'm like, all right, I don't want to downplay this man's life. He died, and that's the we're truth. We're not. No, yeah, no, we're no, absolutely not know. doing that. No, no, I know, but We're yeah. saying shit's but, weird. That's all. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to, I'm, I'm gonna try to connect y'all to the But if you watch that angle, it's like, wait, where are the people that were saying he can't breathe and the, and the people that were recording? And then if you watch the EMT, like it, it looked like a scene out of a movie, though. They just picked up his limp body, through, um, they, they, I don't want to say through. They put him on the stretch and they put him in the truck, and that was it. It was so weird, dog. You, it was you, so you, off. It was so could, off. You could, see, you could already see how they're trying to play it. Do, do you guys hear about the autopsy? No. Nah. Yeah, yeah, coronavirus. No. Nah, so. Well, Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they're they're not saying he died from it. They're saying he tested positive for it. Oh, I didn't. They I didn't say he died from it. I didn't. I didn't hear that part. But what I didn't I hear, hear that. Part. But I think I, heard, I know what. Uh, oh, go ahead. Well, um, the the autopsy that the the family um did came out that he died of um a fix asphyxiation or is that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. asphyxiation yeah, it's a murder it's a murder by asphyxiation. Yeah, yeah. But then, but then the um, Asphyx the, asphyxiation. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But then the the yeah. the autopsy that the um, I think I think the um, the attorney general or something like that. No, yeah. the the Minnesota the the regular the, the, county, the regular yeah, the county. Yeah, the county. The they count, They their autopsy said he, he died of heart failure. Heart failure. Um, was it possible possible drugs? So yeah, they're, they're, they're saying, so they're possible saying, intoxication. So they're saying, this is yeah. So first thing you already know they they oh let's test this dead body and let's kill for drugs, right? Mm -hmm. Off rip, uh, right? Off rip. Have they ever tested officers for drugs? Of course I not. Think, I, I think in the this hiring is, process, probably. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm talking about like in the trial, in in like it, when uh, things happen. Yeah, of course have, no. have, maybe. Maybe nah, they're I'm gonna sure. operate. They're gonna you, operate you. under the presumption that officers yeah. are following their codes. Like they're not gonna get that in the way, right? You know what I yeah. mean? Have, have, like, yeah. Have, do they have drugs in their system? Have they been have you know? I'm, I'm pretty alcohol. sure a few of them got some drinks going on in them. Word. Yeah. yeah. Alcohol, steroids. The level, it's steroids too. A lot of those cops be taking steroids. Word. I have. I haven't. I have known cops like from the gym, like dudes that I know is taking steroids because they admit it. Yeah, I know. And it's I usually it's usually like either a bouncer or a cop or a security like or a security guard trying to become a cop. <laughs> so Word. that that just, that just mess with yeah. your, um your mental your, your mental too to why they're so good. Yeah. There was another video and it's crazy cuz the 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 first angle that I saw you don't see on the news. But it was mm -hmm. um a bunch of cops pulled out these two kids um that went to um I think Oh yeah. Uh, Morehouse. Morehouse, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was nuts, bro. Was crazy. That was crazy. The version that I was saw, their body cams. Doug, I saw the version I saw first was like it was two cars uh, um in front of where they were. So you uh -huh. literally see them drive they're in traffic, they're driving, and in mm -hmm. the car in front of them, there's like a a white girl pokes her head out and she smiles, right? Yeah, and she waves at the camera like, hey, wait. I'm on candy camera type shit. Word. And then you see the cop just pull up. The first cop pulls up and just breaks the window. Like, doesn't, oh, really? the hell? doesn't say anything. Yeah. Just, just breaks the window, starts yelling the man. Um, at, at the girl, does this, they do the same thing on the side. Everybody, it's about like, it had to be at least six, eight. It was six. It was six. Yeah. They, they posted their picture. And they were tasing the young men and the young women as they were getting out of the car. They're trying to get out, and they're tasing them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What type of shit are you on, my nigga? It's crazy. Like, it, it. they don't look like, they don't look like hardened criminals. You know what I'm saying? And even, even if they were, not, not even, that, like, not, let me not even put that on them. You don't even treat hardened criminals like that. If you know you got like a, a major dude that's like moving weight or is a dude major person in the streets and, and you finally busting him, it ain't on some drag out fight up most of the time. You know what I mean? Well, mm -hmm. that's because a lot of these cops hold a lot of animosity. So yeah, let's say for it's instance, like, 
Let's say, for instance, you're getting arrested and you start. Let's say you don't. Let's say you don't resist arrest, but you're mouthing off at them. You say you pussy, fuck twelve, you pig. They will take that anger out on you, even though you not talking is illegal. They take Mm. it personal, and that's when they start getting rough. And that's why a lot of these niggas can't be cops because they were niggas that were picked on in school, they got bullied, and and now became cops to try to get revenge. And that was clear on that. And like another another thing, and once again, I'm putting on my tinfoil hat. I think they treated them that way because remember, in the midst of the riots, there are a lot of dirty cops doing shit. That's been proven. It's not a conspiracy theory. My conspiracy theory is that those two young people saw something. They saw those cops do something, and they tried to drive off regularly. And then the cops was like, no, you're not going anywhere because you just saw my partner do some dirty shit. Mm. That's what I think happened. Because Bro. it was in the midst of the riots. Bro, and like I said, been... they, were, they were planting uh, piles of bricks. No, they, were planting, they were they planting. They saw the SWAT bricks. trucks pulling yeah. up and dropping yeah. off bricks Yo, on corners. That, dropping off bricks. bricks. And they were planting cars for people to burn up and look like. It's planting dirty. old buses there's and stuff like that. There's old there's buses, there's old cop cars. Yeah, it's dirty out a, there, my nigga. There's a video of cops, like, um, trashing a cop car. Trying to make yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's yeah. A, Dog, there's like this is how insidious it is, dog, and how and how they work. You know what I mean? Cause they know. Oh, I love that word. Yeah, they they Jeez. know they, <laughs> cause that's the, that's the game. You know what I'm saying? Cause they can't mm-hmm. just outright um, push us down. They gotta destroy exactly. the perception. They gotta destroy the perception of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that so that it's acceptable. I don't know if y'all watch Vlad TV, but um. Wait, what is everybody that? Knows like Michael, Michael everybody knows Michael Jai White, right? Mm. Black Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so apparently, long story short, I guess when he was younger, he tried to become a cop. And mm. he passed everything. You know, he passed whatever, whatever. And then one like one of the somebody above him came to him and said, This is coming from the higher ups. I'm supposed to come and tell you that you failed and you can't become a cop. And they basically told him he can't become a cop because his IQ was too high. And he's more susceptible to um, to exposing corruption. That's what they told him. <laughs> they basically said, "You're too smart to be a cop. You, wow. you're gonna, you're probably gonna expose our dirtiness, so we can't hire you." There, I've ta- that's I've, probably a wild prior paraphrasing. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, if cra- I can find the clip, I'll show you. But that's basically what he said. What's, like, cra- oh, what's crazy is I've heard stories like that. Of yep. trying to be police officers because I believe within the process you gotta, you gotta bleed blue, man. Like within I the mean, process, like there's there's like a process where people gotta like approve you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you could, I mean, like, in my eyes, the whole institution is rotten. It is like, though, rotten yeah. from the foot. It is. That's why I don't. That's it's why I don't believe it. that whole good cop bad. If you were a yeah. good cop, no. you would have been fired huh? in your first year because if you're a good cop, you would expose the corruption. Now, at the bro, same time, bro. I understand it's your livelihood. You have to feed your family. But if you're not going to be that good cop you say you are, don't become a cop. Because bro. a good cop entails ratting out your bad cops. And if but you're not it, ready to do that. But it's easy to say that because you're, but it's easy to say that because, like, you haven't worked in the politics of being a police officer and you don't have a family that you got to pay for. That's also true. And you could that's be that's one true. of them niggas that this is all you know. So that's why, like, there, it's never just black and white at the same I mean, time. I mean, but no, no, that's true. That's I mean, true. I, I, yeah, I heard the, you. The institution it, itself, you know, is how it, where it's founded from. You know, it's just, it's designed to it's protect a, what happens within, and it's, and it's designed <laughs> to, to to keep us down. And I've I've spoken to, um, you know, a, a friend of mine, and being black and being a police officer, and he he feels that pressure within the force too. I'm not going to like say his name or anything, but nah, he right. told me like he's spoken out, out on, on a few things and like they literally contact him like, hey man, take that off your social media and blah, blah. And ah, right, of course. Look at he'll, that. He'll see look why. That. And then he'll see his white counterpart part. Oh yeah, it's all political. Wild shit. Yeah. And not That's why don't get tested. And not, and not be reprimanded. That's why I couldn't and be, be a cop, bro. And, and, be, and, and say certain things and not be reprimanded. So the whole culture, dog, like, just being in that, like, it takes a beating, dog. Just, just. Yeah. Let's take a look at that, though. What, Paul? Ooh, ah. <laughs> Let's take a look at that with um, 
I'm about to call this man Blanca the worst Zulu. name ever. Uh, Blanca Zulu. <laughs> I'm always about to call this nigga Sir Black Stallion like anybody ever wants to call this man that. <laughs> I mean, it's one of my, it, it is more official than my real name. But anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, that's, that's, that's. No, but uh, speaking, you, you brought up social media and to the whole generation that say, oh, social media doesn't make sense and you're wasting time, their foots are deep in their mouths because one, Twitter and social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram is exposing those dirty cops, those cops that are inciting riots and, you know, not yeah. out there doing their job. Mm. Two, it's exonerating the, um, the, um, the, uh, the accused. The bad protest yeah, the accused, the bad protesters because remember, um, the judge is always gonna believe the cop. The cop says, oh, he's being belligerent. No, I have a protest recording him being peaceful, him on his knees and you pushed him up. Like, there was a cop in Fort Lauderdale. In three, in three or four years, this cracker had about 76 uh, cases against him for excessive force and things Sheesh. like that. And he pushed, this girl was on her knees, basically protesting, and he pushed her over. And the best part about that video is that a black woman cop, I don't know if she's a deputy or a sergeant, reprimanded him, ran up on him and pushed him like, yo, what? I didn't hear what she said, but she was pointing at him. And she's like, like, what the fuck are you doing? And she kept pushing him away, like, get out of here. And this man has over 70 cases against him. What's crazy? In almost three or four years. If you what? do that math, he should what? not have a job. What's crazy? What's right. crazy is the, the and he's beat? still there. Yeah. Any still other there. job. Yeah. Any other job. You go work at McDonald's. If you no. had 76 complaints, you'd be gone. Bro, no, you, thank God. Hey, you wouldn't even get that far. Right. Bro, you couldn't bro. get a job at Burger King or Checkers after bro. that. Anywhere. Any, <laughs> bro, most jobs, if you're late, like, not even. Like three, five four, times, six five times. times at most. They give so you all the way. You go. They, if you lay three times in a week, to have, they, they see that as you've given up your job. Word, I, I forgot the right? term. Like, I forgot the term, but it's basically bro, saying, bro, oh, you don't want to work. Bro, <laughs> bro, bro, like they, they have so much power and so much leeway. It's crazy. It's sickening, dog. And it's, it's just to be given a regular human. That's the crazy mm -hmm. part. There, there's nothing special about them. Like mm -hmm. they don't know the law, they mm -hmm. don't know how to. Therefore, they don't know how to enforce the law. Yeah. Like, exactly. Their their main concern is to escalate violence as opposed to de-escalate such situation. And right. I, I I mean like they just want to oppose their will. In, when you throw in the aspect where all they do is protect each other and they they want to rely on each other, what what does that really do? Like that that just self perpetuates yeah. the system that. Eh, yeah. Like that man, it's rotten. Word, word. Yeah, what yeah, I, it's into the right, core. It's right into the core, dog. What it's I will right say, the core. what I will say is this: the um the the difference that I'm seeing and uh, what makes me feel optimistic is that W's are stepping up to the plate. Like why? Yeah. Do, they're not playing right now. There, mm -hmm. I've seen videos of like people arguing with their parents, of people mm -hmm. calling out their friends, people exposing group chats where people. Say racist stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I, there, was this, there was this girl on Twitter that got kicked out of her house because she was protesting. She hey. was on Twitter like, "Yo, my mom just no kicked way. me out for a job." Yeah, and she so she showed the text like, her mom's basically said, "Get your ass in the house now. I'm packing your shit. You're out." Wow. Now all she was doing is protesting for Black Lives Matter, and that's another thing I wanted to speak on the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Initially, it was great, but it's been co-opted. That's why I don't personally I don't say Black Lives Matter anymore. Even though Wait, I agree what? that Black Lives do matter. <laughs> I know Bro. that sounded terrible. That sounded terrible. That sounded terrible. Bro. Bro. He go down the wrong path, bro. Bro, you sound bro. You sound to sound to weird, me. bro. But like, honestly, 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 bro. No, no, honestly, on, on, wait, hold on, hold on. Honestly, oh, wait, 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 bro, 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 bro. Honestly, the Black Lives as an organization is a is a group of people, though. Fuck it. That, I mean, that's inconsequential, though, in the grand scheme of things. You know no, no, I, mean? I understand that. I understand that. But, however, but what, wait, it what, started what, out as... What, 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 what,
I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. It started out as a grassroots movement. It started out, you know, from the from the core, from the you're culture. Such hip, you're such a hipster, though. You hate stuff. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen to me. But it got co-opted because, uh, like, at this point, all these companies that are putting out these statements, they're choosing sides. They're like, oh, no, we're with you. Don't stop shopping with us. We're with you. We're donating. Right. We're not a, it had this, and I don't like that shit. That's why the Black Lives Matter hashtag, I don't post it because it's been co-opted. Like it's not the same as it used to be. I'm going to still protest. I'm going to still <laughs> donate. I'm going to still ride if I have to. But yeah, hashtag, yeah, I, it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fuck with the hashtag. It's been co-opted. What do you mean? What do you mean by co-opted? Because you got agents in that bitch. Thanks. <laughs> you got agents in there. It, it it started with Ferguson. Ferguson was the first was the first incident that boosted Black Lives Matter. That hashtag. That's where, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken, that's where it's created from. No, that's but no, no, as, right, as, that's from tra- as from the, it starts to roll, from and more people start to join. It, no, no, no. Trayvon was 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 one of the early. Like Trayvon was the first one for our generation because it was plenty before Trayvon. No, but that's what I'm Trayvon, saying. But the big defenders was Trayvon. Yeah. I mean, Trayvon. All, right, may, all right, maybe it started with Trayvon. Maybe it started. But what I'm saying, what it is now, is not the same as what it was when it started. That's so why right. I, would, so I represent saying, my people, but I wouldn't well, uh, use that hashtag. So you're so you're saying that co- because companies are probably like donating or whatever, you, you think you think. That's I'd, my bad. I'd That's say it's deeper than that. No, I'd say, as black people, I'd say we need to stop than thinking that. niggas are scammy as soon as they start getting money, bro. See, no, 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 I think what Jormatic is saying that the W's have, inf- or the W's that are not our allies have infiltrated the organization in a way, or the organization That's has all. been co-opted, meaning that they're working with other entities that don't really care about them, That's all but only saying. don't want us to stop spending our dollars. Thank you. But, 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 but I think but that's see, all see, but, 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 but we ain't let them go past that. Hold on, but see. Hold on. Is that what you think is happening? Because we're running out of time. We're running out of time, but but even if that's the case, companies vying for their support, trying to donate, is not evidence of any of that. Because it from I disagree. From from what you see, like. You gotta. What? When has the agenda changed? What? What evidence of the agenda changing have you seen, or have, or has those influences? Uh, All right, with the narrative. I can answer that. But so I can wait, answer that. Wait, but but because what we because can't say is to be honest, it hasn't even it hasn't even been about Black Lives Matter. To be honest. No, I can answer that. I can answer that. For instance, uh, Blackout Tuesday that just passed. <laughs> Excuse me. Originally, it was supposed to show solidarity. <laughs> It was supposed to say, "Hey, we in this together." And companies that have never that have never posted about black people in any capacity, it could be a powder company. They've never even had a black actor in their commercial, and they on some blackout Tuesday, Black Lives Matter. They're just doing that to get us on their side. They don't truly mean it. In my, in yeah. my opinion, well, yeah, they're they're so they're they're many, hold on, hold on. Opinion. In my yeah, personal opinion, of course, hold on, dramatic. Here's my thing. You don't got to be mad about that. Just, you know, turn up the volume on your bullshit detector. You see through it. I see through <laughs> it. There are, definitely, there are definitely some companies that are choosing sides, as you may say, or just trying to be on the right side of history simply for the whatever benefit down the future. Okay, sure. I'm not even mad at you about that. What I would say is focus on the companies that actually do put out genuine words and, 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 you, and you get and you can words. see it and you can see him and it's and it's a world of you know you know what i mean like yeah. it's no it that's doesn't, it. that's it, crazy. It's trying time you know what i mean like you can take no no. no no you're right that's fair i'll give you that i'll give you that's that people, right because even though i'm still suspicious about apple you know hey on tuesday they blacked out all of no this is but this is important to talk about they blacked out um, on Apple Music, they blacked out all like for you, like your favorites and the mm. suggestions, all of the browsing and the um, radio, everything, Beats Radio, everything. It was just one station all day. The only way you could listen to something you wanted to is if you searched for it or went in your library. If you didn't oh. like, 
if it you couldn't go on a discover page you couldn't go on a suggestions or radio or for you page it was blacked mm -hmm. out and you had a, it was just one button on it that said listen now black lives matter or something oh. like that or black oh. was it blackout well, tuesday and, gotta... and so something like that was cool like that's all day or you might even have an organization what, what other companies have been supporting all of them uh, all yeah. of them I mean, you saw what Ben and Jerry's wrote. But Ben and Jerry's been with the shits, though. They been with the What did the they shits. write? So oh, they stood on me or Reebok? I, um, Nike and Reebok, they were the shit. And there was a joke about that. It said, imagine how bad this shit has to be where you're, where you're connected with your worst enemy. Nike and Reebok were retweeting each other. That's how bad this well, shit is. Well, Nike it's only got every, with the shits because they had Michael Jordan. And that's all we can put. <laughs> that's all we can really Nike, say about that. Nike plays their league. I don't know. Nike, they they made a they made a bold move with that Colin. With that Colin. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. But um, gentlemen, gentlemen, we gotta we gotta wrap up. Yeah. This has been about it was an episode. Where this, this is this is fuck up. Where this wait wait. Uh, can we can we just say that no. everybody, if you have a need to go do something. You know, find the way that fits, suits you and out. your personality to go out and support. My bad, Flock Zulu. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> one one right. AKA, go. Bye, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> All right, Flock Zulu, we out. Dramatic. I seen out. black. Next I seen black. Out. Next week, baby. Go on my ear. Out. Instagram. Follow. <laughs> Steven, she follow me. Tell your auntie. Tell your auntie. Tell your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, give your two cousins my number. Word. <laughs>